Bring your drawing to right view, so click the view controls, select right, and this is the right view of the model, which is the detailed drawing from this one. So type C for circle, click anywhere on the screen, and enter 1.9 for radius. Just click the zoom which is this one here. Now see for circle, hover on the side, and once you see that plus sign, click that, and enter one. So this is the one I just draw, the circle here. Draw a line, and bring it to your left for 1.45, so this is just a guide from this point, from the center of the circle to the center of this arc. So now I'm going to draw a circle from the end point and enter point 38, which is this one here. Now draw a line from quadrant to the intersection, repeat line, quadrant, to the intersection point now trim so tr for trim command enter twice and just remove that and delete this one now i'm going to join the segments this one and this one so type j for join command right click to enter and just window the objects now this is one object now i'm going to array this one so type array and select array polar, select this object, right click and specify center of point of array. So just hover on the side and click the plus sign and go to the ribbon and change the number of items to three, enter and enter again. Now type TR again, enter twice, trim this one and trim this one. I'm going to join the objects or the broken segments. So type J again, right click, and just window the whole thing. Now this is one object. Now I'm going to extrude this one for 2.5 shown here. So I'm just going to move my object around, press the key, shift key. And the wheel of your mouse at the same time and just move this one and extrude so go to modeling panel and uh, select extrude command click the object that you want to extrude enter and pull it this to this direction for 2.15 now I'm gonna apply fillet and uh, as shown here the radius for the fillet is uh, 0.25 so you can just type F for fillet or you can go to the ribbon and just find uh, fillet edge right click and select radius option you can go down to the command window and just enter 0.25 click this one click this edge this edge this one enter and enter again to accept i'm just gonna turn off my grid uh, before we proceed go down to the status bar and make sure your dynamic input is on polar tracking object snap tracking object snap selection cycling 3d object snap and dynamic ucs the next one to draw is this one here and the thickness for that is 0.15. So I'm just going to extrude this one. You can type in EXT for extrude command. Select the object. And move your cursor to that direction for 0.15. 
Now I'm gonna union the objects. So go to solid editing panel, select union command, and just window the whole thing. I'm gonna apply fillet on these sides here, as you can see here. And uh, the radius for that is 0.25. So go to solid, select fillet edge, inside the solid editing panel, right click, select radius, and enter 0.25. Just click this one here, this one, and this edge, and enter twice. All right, the next one I'm gonna use the primitive solid, so I'm gonna use cone. So go to the ribbon and click this drop down arrow and select cone, specify center point of base. Click the center, you can see that uh, blue circle, snap that, and uh, snap the quadrant. Bring your cursor forward, right click, and select top radius, and enter 1.15. Enter, and the height is, I'm just going to click that, wait, the height is 1.3, so this is the radius, this is the diameter for the first one here and the height is 1.3 so I'm gonna edit this one double click and select and change the height to 1.3 enter and then press escape I'm just gonna so by the view cube click this drop down arrow and just change this to parallel and the next one I'm gonna draw a cylinder with a height of five units. So I'm just gonna type in CYL, or you can go to the ribbon. Snap the center, snap the quadrant, bring this to that direction for five. The next one is also a cylinder. So CYL, snap the center, right click, and select diameter and enter 2 shown here and enter 18.75 for height all right and the next one is also cylinder so cyl Snap the center, right click and select diameter. And the diameter for this one is 0 0.5, as shown here. And the height is 1.84. Now I'm gonna union this one and this one so I could apply fillet. So union and type F for fillet and select fillet edge. And you can go down to the command window, you can find the radius option, or you can just right click, select radius, and enter 0.75, as shown here. So just click this edge, enter, and enter again to accept. Another fillet. So apply fillet on this edge. So F for fillet. Select fillet edge. Radius option, enter point one, enter, and select fillet, uh, select edge, and enter again. Now I'm gonna combine the whole thing. So type in U in I for union command. Right click to enter, and just window the objects. Now I'm gonna apply fillet on this edge and the radius for that is here point one so type F for fillet and just select fillet edge right click and select radius option enter point one enter right click again and, and select uh, chain option click this edge 
right click enter right click again and enter and I think I'm done I'm just gonna apply materials so minimize this window maximize this one type in materials and by the Autodesk library click this drop down arrow and select metal and click this drop down arrow and select steel click the arrow here by hand material I'm just gonna copy this one so duplicate right click duplicate and apply this one here and I'm gonna edit that so click this um, pen I'm gonna adjust the texture so click image and inside scale change the scale to 3 enter and change the color so click color and click here and uh, adjust image make it darker maybe and the glossiness you can adjust click that and go to you can close this one go to visualize click lights and I should adjust exposure setting I'm gonna check materials again uh, click this one here there that's better and I think I'm done so thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified for the next tutorial and see you again